welcome to APG Patisala. I am Prof. V. Sekuntala, Department of Ancient Indian History, Culture and Archaeology, Sri Venkateshwara University, Tirupati. The subject is on Indian culture and the paper is on Indian numismatics and today's module is on Vijayanagara coinage. In this module, we will be discussing about the metals, the denominations and the symbols which are portrayed on the Vijayanagara coins and the significance of these portraits will be discussed in detail. And also, they have used some scripts and languages on their coins and uh, all these important features will be learned in next 30 minutes. What is the, what are the, what is the significance of Vijayanagara coins? Here, with the foundation of Vijayanagara Empire, it, which is an epoch-making event in the South Indian history. So after the Gupta Empire, Vijayanagara rulers were the first to issue gold coins in South India in large numbers and large denominations. The last important Hindu kingdom in South India is the Vijayanagara Empire and it marked the beginning of awakening and preservation of Hindu religion and culture. That is why this is referred as golden age of South India. Vijayanagara coins have an image of Hindu deity or the image of an animal that Hindus worship on the upper side. And on the reverse side of the coin, we find the name of the king in Kannada, Devanagari or Telugu language. Even today, Vijayanara coins are found in plenty because no one would melt or des destroy a coin with the image of a Hindu god or goddess. That is the important feature of Vijayanagara coins. In those days, the coins were the main source of communication among the masses. So the Vijayanagara rulers effectively used these coins for reviving Hindu religion. The other important changes that, that took place with regard to the Vijayanagara coins are the emergence of the Vijayanagara empire which was heralded a new phase in the development of the coinage and currency system in the history of South India witnessed some important changes. They are, they continued the tradition of India where pictorial devices became the major feature of the coinage. Earlier coinage had Brahmi and Karoshti, Sharada and Arabic scripts, whereas when we come to the Vijayanagara period, we find the legends in three scripts, that is Nagari, Kannada and Telugu. Here, when we come to the beginning of Vijayanagara Empire, the king Harihara and Bukharaya I were the originators of Vijayanagara kingdom. They had a great inspiration from the coinage of the Hoysalas, Kakatiyas and later Pandyas for their model and their coinage. This is noticed on the coin names in the inscriptional evidences. Here the names of the coins of the Hoysalas such as Gadyana, Pana, Haga, Visa, Bele, they were adapted by the Vijayanagara rulers both for practical reasons and the kindest tradition of the region. Here, I just wanted to tell you one thing. In the, when the coins, when a new currency system has to be introduced, the old tradition has to be continued for some time. So the same pattern was followed by the Vijayanagara rulers where they have adapted the Hoysala and Kaktiya coinage. Now we'll discuss one by one what are the metals that the Vijayanagara rulers issued and the denominations of these coins and also the symbols which are portrayed on Vijayanagara coins. Now we'll discuss with regard to the metals that they have issued. They have issued gold, silver and copper coins. 
and these gold coins are of base quality whereas copper coins are used for business and day to day transactions. These silver coins are very rare and issued early period of Vijayanagara rule and later we don't find the silver coins. We only find gold and copper coins. What are the denominations of these coins? We will discuss with regard to the gold, silver and copper. Coins were issued in various denominations. In the inscriptions, we get the names of these gold coins as Gadyanas and Varahas, which are the highest value coins, followed by Pratapa, Kati, Pana and Hana. Varahas were of three types, known as Gatti Varaha, Dodda Varaha, Suddha Varaha. Maybe Gatti means strong and then Dodda means big and Suddha means pure. So maybe they might have issued in these denominations the coins. Perhaps these are based on the quality of gold which was used in minting coins. And silver coins are known as stone or tara, tara and the copper coins are known as Pana, Jital and Kasu. These references we get from the inscriptions of the Vijayanagara period. When they have issued, the Vijayanagara rulers have issued number of, uh, what you say, the fields and also the coin, coins to the temples for the development of the temple and also the temple priests, they have issued certain coins. For the Brahmins, they have issued certain coins. And these references we get from the inscriptional evidences. Here the denominations like double Varaha coin weigh about 7.65 grams, Varaha weigh about 3.4 grams, whereas half Varaha is 1.7 gram and it is also known as Pratapa and a pratapa that is 0.8 grams and one tenth of varaha is equivalent to 0.35 grams whereas the highest copper coin weighs about 250 grains and then lowest is 15 grains and between these two weights also we get the coins that is 160, 130, 50, 40 and 30, 24 grains. Which, during the Vijayanagara period they have number of mints which are located in different areas and these references also we get from the inscriptional evidences. There was a separate department for minting of coins during Vijayanagara period. A central mint was controlling the local mints of the kingdom and naming the coins after the place of the mint was also followed by the Vijayanagara rulers. The coins were also termed as Barakuru Gadhyayana that is, the coins which are minted at Barakuru are known as Barakuru Gadhyayana. And whereas Mangaluru Gadhyayana is known because of the Mangaluru, they have minted at Mangaluru and they were known as Mangaluru Gadhyayana, that is, provincial capitals of the Vijayanagara kingdom. And we also have mints at Tadipatri, Adhoni, and they are known as Advani Honnu and Tadipatri Honnu because they were minted at that particular place. And we also have mints at Tirupati and we don't get the uh, what is the name of that particular coin. But Gutti and Nellur and Madurai also they have mints and they are known as Gutti Hannu. And our Nellur coins we find on the upper side Ne that is Ne is written. Only abbreviated form of the place name is written on the upper side. And Madurai coins also, we find the abbreviated name that is Ma. Vijayanagara rulers have issued coins with different symbols by different rulers. Now we will discuss the phases of the Vijayanagara coinage. Here the Vijayanagara kings ruled from 1336 to 1678. AD and their rulers belong to four dynasties that is Sangama dynasty ruled from 1336 to 1485 AD whereas Salva dynasty ruled from 1485 to 1505 AD and 
Tuluva dynasty ruled from 1505 to 1576 AD and the last important dynasty was Aravidu dynasty which ruled from 1568 to 1652 AD. And these dynasties have issued coins with different symbols. So now we'll discuss dynasty by symbols. Here the Sangama dynasty has issued with the divinities and animal symbols on the upper side like Anuman, Uma Maheshwara, Lakshmi Narayana, Saraswati, Brahma, Elephant and Bull symbols. On the river side, they have depicted the name of and the title of the issuing king in Kannada or Nandinagari characters. This is the Sangama dynasty, early phase of Vijayanagara Empire. And the Salva dynasty did not issue any coins because we have not got any coin of Salva dynasty till today. That is why we are unable to trace out the coins of Salva dynasty. Now coming to the other important dynasty is the Tuluva dynasty. They have issued the coins with the symbols on the upper side like Vankateshwara, Umamaheshwara, the old type and the Balakrishna, Lakshmi Narayana, Bull, Garuda and Garnaverunda. And the riverside, as I said earlier, like that of Salva dynasty, they also depicted the name and the title of the issuing king in Kannada and Nandinagari. Here, the other important language that came up was Telugu language. They have issued coins in Telugu characters also. Now coming to the Aravidu dynasty, the, dynast the divinities and the animal symbols on the upper side changed dramatically with the Vaishnavite symbols. That is Rama, Vishnu, Lakshmi, Venkateshwara with or without consort and Hanuman, Garuda, Bull and Elephant symbols. Now on the river side, they have depicted the title of the issuing king in Kannada and Nandinagari and Telugu characters as that of the earlier kingdom. Now this table shows the various gods and goddesses and animal figures which are appeared on the coins ruler wise. This you can see in the E content of the module. So till now we have seen different dynasties which issued coins with different divinities and also the languages on the riverside, I mean the script on the riverside we have discussed. But here, in the real sense, that is, by showing the typology with figures, we'll discuss with regard to the Vijayanagara coins, how the types are and uh, who has issued what, what type of coins. I mean, which king issued the type of coins. Now, we'll discuss one by one the, with the deities. Hanuman type of coins. The first important uh, deity that was seen on the coins of Vijayanagara was Hanuman type of coins. So, because the Hanuman is one of the most popular deities among the Hindu gods, so Hanuman was depicted on the coins of Vijayanagara, which is the symbol of strength and victory to every Hindu. And Arihara first chose this in a view to inspire the people with the ideals of determination diligence, discipline and dedication to build the Vijayanagara Empire. Arihara first and Bukharaya first and Harihara second, Devaraya first, Sri Rangaraya first, Venkatipatraya first and Venkatipatraya second and Venkatipatraya third issued Anuman on the upwards of their coins. These coins were minted in gold, silver and copper. And here we see the legend on the riverside in Kannada and Nandinagari script. Now look at the Hanuman type of coins which were issued by Arihara first, Bukharaya first and Harihara second where we find the Hanuman standing on all these coins on the upper side and on the river side you see the legend in Kannada Nandinagari script. Here these are the Anuman type of coins of silver coins which were issued again by Arihara first, 
Bukaraya first and Devaraya first. You see the Nagari script and Kannada script on the river side of the coin. Hanuman standing. And these are the copper coins which were issued again by Arihara first, Bukaraya first, Venkatapatraya third. Now you see the Hanuman standing. But here on Venkatapatraya third coin we see the Hanuman seated. The other important type of coins that were issued by the earlier rulers of the Vijayanagara Empire are Shiva Parvati or Omamaheshwara type of coins. And Lord Shiva as Virupaksha, which is the, the Lord with the terrible eye, was the pattern deity of the Vijayanagara rulers, as you all know. Hampi was the important uh, city or the empire of the Vijayanagaras where they have constructed a temple for this particular deity. Shiva Parvati or Vomama Ishura type of coins are generally represented Lord Shiva and Parvati and issued by Arihara second, Devaraya first, Devaraya second and Krishna Devaraya and Sada Sivaraya. Lord Shiva first appeared on the coins of Arihara second and these coins were issued in three metals that is gold, silver and copper. Now we find on the coins of Arihara second, Devaraya first and Sada Sivaraya of gold coins, we find the Omama Heshwara, that is Shiva and Parvati. And you see the silver and copper coins which were issued by Arihara second, Devaraya first silver coins and Devaraya second has issued copper coins. Now coming to the other important deity which was seen on the Vijayanagara coins is Lakshmi Narayana type of coins. The goddess Lakshmi and Lord Vishnu is seen on the upper side and they were minted in gold, copper. We have no silver coins found with regard to the Lakshmi Narayana type of coins. And these coins are issued by Arihara second, Devaraya first, Ramachandra, Sadasivaraya and Venkatipataraya second. You find the goddess Lakshmi seated and then the legend in Nagari script is found. Now, this is also Lakshmi Narayana type of coin of copper coin of Venkatapatraya second. And now, we have seen Lakshmi Narayana. Now here we find the Lakshmi Narasimha type of coins were also issued by Vijayanagara rulers. Because Narasimha Avatara is one of the prominent incarnations of the Lord Vishnu, for the first two time they depicted the coins of Hoysala king Narasimha second. So, the Narasimha coins are issued earlier by Hoysala rulers. Subsequently, this god appears on the gold coins of Harihara second, depicting Lakshmi and Narasimha who are seated on a high pedestal. Lord Narasimha is shown either single or with his consort Lakshmi. And these coins were issued by Harihara second, Veera Narasimha, Sadasivaraya, Ramadevaraya and Srirangaraya third and they are minted in gold and copper, but we have no silver coins of this type. Now we can see on the right side the figures in gold and these are copper coins issued by Veeranarsimha, Sadasivaraya, Ramadevaraya and Sri Rangaraya third. Another important coin issued by Vijayanagara rulers is Brahma Saraswati type of coins. Brahma Saraswati were depicted on the coins of Arihara second in gold. You can find Saraswati holding Veena seated on a high pedestal and you see Nandinagari script on the river side. Now coming to the Lord Venkateshwara type of coins which are represented on the coins of Vijayanagara rulers. Here, after the conquest of the Varissa, Krishna Devaraya visited Tirupati temple and performed Kanakabhisheka to Lord Venkateshwara. And for this purpose, he has minted gold coins with the portrait of Lord Venkateshwara on the upper side. And these are not ordinary coins because the weight was more than the double of the ordinary standard gold coins. The weight is about 120 grains, whereas the ordinary coins, which are known as Gadyanas, are of only 52 grains. 
సో రామరాయ శ్రీరంగరాయ ఫస్ట్ వెంకటపతిరాయ ఫస్ట్ వెంకటపతిరాయ సెకండ్ వెంకటపతిరాయ థర్డ్ అండ్ శ్రీరంగరాయ థర్డ్ దే కంటిన్యూడ్ దిస్ ట్రెడిషన్ ఆఫ్ ది వెంకటేశ్వర టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాయిన్స్ ఇష్యూయింగ్ ఆఫ్ వెంకటేశ్వర టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాయిన్స్ అండ్ దీస్ కాయిన్స్ ఆర్ మెయింటెడ్ ఇన్ గోల్డ్ అండ్ కాపర్ బట్ వీ హ్యావ్ నో సిల్వర్ కాయిన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ టైప్ నా లుక్ అట్ ది పిక్చర్స్ వేర్ లార్డ్ వెంకటేశ్వర ది డైటీ స్టాండింగ్ విత్ సంక్ అండ్ చక్ర అండ్ రైట్ అండ్ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్స్ ది సేమ్ ఫోజ్ ఈజ్ డిపెక్టెడ్ ఆన్ ది హిల్స్ ఆఫ్ తిరుమల నౌ యూ ఫైండ్ దీస్ కాయిన్స్ ఆర్ ఇష్యూడ్ గోల్డ్ కాయిన్స్ ఆర్ ఇష్యూడ్ విత్ లా విత్ ది సింబల్ లార్డ్ వెంకటేశ్వర బై కృష్ణదేవరాయ అళయ రామరాయ శ్రీరామ శ్రీరంగరాయ అండ్ వెంకటపతిరాయ సెకండ్ అండ్ వెంకటపతిరాయ సెకండ్ ఆల్సో ఇష్యూడ్ కాపర్ కాయిన్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ సీన్ ఆన్ ది రైట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ది స్లైడ్ అనదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాయిన్ దట్ వాజ్ ఇష్యూడ్ బై కృష్ణదేవరాయ వాజ్ బాలకృష్ణ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాయిన్స్ హియర్ కృష్ణదేవరాయ బ్రాడ్ ది ఇమేజ్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ ఫ్రమ్ ఉదయగిరి ఆఫ్టర్ ఇట్స్ కాంక్వెస్ట్ హిమెంటెడ్ కాయిన్స్ కంటైనింగ్ ది ఇమేజ్ ఆఫ్ డివైన్ బేబీ బాలకృష్ణ విత్ ఎ కాన్స్ టు హిస్ రైట్ అండ్ డిస్కస్ టు ది లెఫ్ట్ ఆన్ ది అబ్బర్ సైడ్ అండ్ అగైన్ ఆఫ్టర్ కృష్ణదేవరాయ శ్రీరంగరాయ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ వెంకటపతిరాయ సెకండ్ ఆల్సో ఇష్యూడ్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాయిన్స్ ది గోల్డ్ కాయిన్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణదేవరాయ దేర్ ఆర్ త్రీ లైన్స్ ఇన్ నాగరి లెజెండ్ గాట్ హిస్ నేమ్ విత్ ది టైటిల్ శ్రీ ప్రతాప ఈజ్ రిటర్న్ అప్ దేర్ అండ్ ఆన్ ది కాపర్ కాయిన్స్ వి ఫైండ్ ది లెజెండ్ ఇన్ నాగరి తెలుగు అండ్ కన్నడ స్క్రిప్ట్స్ వెంకటపత్రాయ థర్డ్ ఇన్స్క్రైబ్డ్ కన్నడ స్క్రిప్ట్ ఇన్ టూ లైన్స్ ఎస్ హిస్ నేమ్ వెంకట ప విచ్ ఈస్ రిటర్న్ దేర్ ది అదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వైష్ణవ డైటీ డిఫెక్టెడ్ వాచ్ శ్రీరామ సీత లక్ష్మణ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కాయిన్స్ శ్రీరామ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది టెన్ అవతార్స్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ విష్ణు తిరుమల రాయ ఫస్ట్ చేంజ్ ది చేంజ్ ది డైటీ ఆన్ హిస్ కాయిన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో చేంజ్ ది ది క్యాపిటల్ టు పెనుగొండ ఆఫ్టర్ ద డెత్ ఆఫ్ సదాశివరాయ హీ చేంజ్ ఈజ్ ప్రొటెక్టింగ్ డైటీ ఫ్రమ్ విరుపాక్ష టు శ్రీరామ ఇట్ ఈస్ ది ఇట్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో సీన్ on the coins which were minted by Tirumal Raya first. On the upper side of the coin, we find Sri Rama with Sita and Lakshmana depicted. You can see on the right side of the slide where three deities are depicted on the upper side. And Tirumal Raya was the originator of the Rama Tanki coins which were also most popular in south india in post vijayanagara period now coming to the animal figures bull was the animal that was depicted by the vijayanagara rulers atli rulers bull is quite popular with the kings of vijayanagara the bull is also a much venerated animal and treated as holy the sangama tuluva and aravidu dynasty they have issued large number of bull type of coins in silver and copper metals except the malikarjuna all vijayanagara rulers issued coins in copper malikarjuna coin we can see the silver coin whereas other coins are in copper now coming to sanka and chakra type of coins so vijayanagara rulers also depicted the symbols of vaishnavite symbols on their coins the rulers are tirumala raya sri ranga raya and venkatapati raya second and ramadeva raya issued coins with the symbol vaishnavite symbols another type is varaha that is boar symbol that is the incarnation of lord vishnu they were also issued in copper metal by achutaraya tirumala raya first sri rangaraya first and sri rangaraya third now we see the boar symbol on the upper side and the river side we see the nandinagari and sri rangaraya third type we see the kannada legend sri ranga is written on the coin and we also have elephant type of coins which were issued by devaraya second malikarjuna vijayaraya second veeranar simha krishna devaraya achutaraya sadashivaraya tirumala raya first and they were minted in gold silver and copper three metals they have minted the elephant type of coins you see the elephant 
running seen on the uh, gold coins and we find the nagari script on the river side and they also issued garuda type of coins the garuda type of coins minted in gold and copper garuda is the vehicle of vishnu so they also issued coins with the, the vehicles of the gods and goddesses and the bukraya first and arya second issued garuda type of coins in gold whereas copper coins were issued by almost all the rulers of the vijayanagara empire now a peculiar type of coins with a, a peculiar deity is also noticed on vijayanagara coins that is gandabairunda type of coins the double headed eagle is a very ancient and well known symbol of royalty throughout the world so it appears to have descended through the chalukyas and the hoysalas to the vijayanagara kings from whom madura and ikkeri and later on mysore has inherited the symbols on their coins and also on their art gandabairunda or double headed eagle is variously portrayed on achutraya coins and these coins were issued by achutraya sadashivaraya of tuluva dynasty and srirangaraya of aravidu dynasty here you see a beautiful picture of the gandabairunda and the gold coins of achutraya which is well depicted and also on copper coins of achutraya and sadashivaraya on sadashivara coin we see the the plan of the symbol is symbol is small and coin is bigger so we see the structure of the vijayanagara currency which was standardized and the weight standard of the coins was maintained uniformly throughout the empire so varaha at the gold was the basic unit weight of 52 grains and 3.4 grams that is 1/10th of varaha was a panam we also see silver coins which were of low weight whereas copper coins were of heavier weight the most important characteristic feature of the vijayanagara coin is that they are all round in shape and they have the image of a deity or deities or animals on the upper side whereas on the river side it was divided by lines into two or three lines with the names of the king in abbreviated form the king's name is preceded by word pratapa or veera and ends with raya and these features were maintained right from sangama dynasty to the aravidu and followed by followed the hoysala pattern in the design of their coins the first two rulers used the kannada and then came the devanagari script and telugu appeared first on krishnadevaraya coins and was commonly used on the coins of aravidu kings whose capital was in the heart of andhra country so the gods and goddesses are depicted belonging to both saivite and vaishnavite faiths only commemorative coins are known of krishnadevaraya who issued coins in the name of his minister timmarasu and he also issued gadyanas of heavy weight during their territorial expansion in the south the vijayanagara rulers persisted with the coinage of previous rulers with their initials for example when they annexed chola territories the common chola coin of the area was bull on the uppers and the rivers had the image of a man so the vijayanagara rulers continued the same type of bull coins in the chola territories with the addition of kings initial such as ha for arihara and they did they did the same for venad alupa and other regions also vijayanagara kings represented the previous lurus pattern of coins and naturally the population of those areas readily accepted their coinage it may be worth recalling that the vijayanagara kings donated varahas to the temples here as said earlier the krishna devaraya donated 30000 varahas to lord venkateshwara tirupati in 1514 ad and wanted this gold to be used for gold plating of the temple vimana 
He also donated another 500 varahas each in the names of his two wives at that particular time. The king donated 10,000 varahas in 1516 AD, but the purpose of donation is not indicated. And there are now 200 Vijayanagara gold coins in the treasury of the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanams. And some of these coins may have been there for a very long time. The devotees may have donated some Vijayanagara coins in subsequent years. So the Vijayanagara coins were unique and distinctive and later rulers, including European colonial powers, also copied their pattern. So this speaks of the popularity of Vijayanagara coins long after the rule which was ended in the 17th century itself. Thank you. For further details, you can visit the EPG Patsala on the subject Indian culture, the paper on Indian numismatics, the module on Vijayanagara coins of the e-content. Thank you.